Hey there, welcome to this episode of Tie Down 101, Web Winch Basics. Today we'll cover the basic components of a winch, how to set one up, as well as how to tension it and release the unit. My name is Matt, and I'll be your host for this episode. If you've missed any of our other educational videos, feel free to click the link above and go straight to that playlist. Web winches are used to secure cargo or equipment to flatbed style trailers and delivery trucks. They essentially act as a mounted ratchet and typically utilize four inch webbing with various end fittings, although two and three inch winches are also available. While the shape and size may vary between models, all winches have six basic components. The frame, the mandrel, the cap, the sprocket, the pawl, and the pawl pin. The sprocket, the pawl, and the pawl pin combine to make a one-way motion device that maintains tension in the mandrel. Depending on your trailer type or personal preference, there are several different type of mounting options for your winch. The most basic mounting style is weld-on, and as the name implies, it's welded directly to the trailer frame. Bolt-on winches offer the user a little more freedom in mounting locations. They bolt directly to the trailer frame and can be moved or removed to suit each load. Sliding winches offer the best of both worlds. They fit into a track that is pre-installed on a trailer and allow the winch to slide the length of the trailer for fast and flexible tie-down options. There are numerous track styles available. Be sure to consult your trailer manufacturer for the type of track on your specific truck or trailer. Winches also come in varying frame styles to meet any application. The standard winch, shown here in the middle, is suitable for most standard tie-down applications. The taller frame is known as a storable winch. This frame is designed to hold an entire standard length winch strap, which is 30 feet. This allows a driver to completely wind up the winch and store the winch and the strap together. The low profile winch is used when space around the desired tie down point is limited by some component of either the truck or the trailer. Now that the winch is mounted and in the required position, it's time to feed the strap through and tighten it down. In nearly every winch strap application, the strap runs from one side of the truck or trailer, over the cargo, and to the other side where the winch is located. Affix the hardware end of the strap to the trailer and throw the strap over the load, assuring there are no persons or equipment on the other side that may get struck. Never throw the hardware end of the strap over the trailer. On the off chance that you have to throw the hardware end over the top of the cargo, be sure to use a device such as Anchor Cargo's Toss and Tie to ensure the heavy hardware does not strike and injure someone or damage equipment after you've thrown it over top of the load. Click the link above to check out Anchor's Toss and Tie in action. After rolling up and securing the excess web, feed a few inches of it through the winch mandrel, then manually take up the slack while maintaining some tension with your opposite hand. Once all the slack has been rolled up, use a winch bar to tighten the strap to the desired tension. Be sure the pawl is fully engaged and your winch bar is returned to storage before driving away. When it's time to unload your cargo, use the winch bar to slightly tighten the strap, just enough to remove tension from the pawl, then drop the pawl out of the way. This will allow the mandrel to freewheel and you can unwind the rest of the web. Pull your strap over the load from the hook side and then roll the strap up and put it in storage until it's needed for the next load. As you can see, inserting and removing the winch bar can be a strenuous and time consuming proposition, especially when you factor in the driver could have 12 or more winches for a single load. Anchor Cargo, however, has various solutions to help alleviate this problem. The first is our patented ergo bar. The 30 degree bend in the end of the winch bar allows the operator to rotate it and get 30 more degrees of rotation out of the winch before needing to pull it out and replace it, ultimately reducing the number of times that they have to make that movement. The second option is to make the winch a ratcheting winch. This means the driver never has to remove the winch bar until the, the load is completely tightened down. Now we offer this in two versions. Our silver cap overdrive bolts directly to an existing winch we also sell winches with the ratcheting mechanism pre-installed. If you'd like some more information on these products or want to see them in action, go ahead and click the link above to go view a strap chat on these products. And as always, use proper PPE when using any tensioning device. 
In this case, eye and hand protection are recommended. That's it for this episode. Hopefully you've gained a little more insight about these super useful products being used by truckers across the globe. And if you're a professional driver, hopefully we've given you a little more knowledge about how to work safer and more efficiently in your everyday tasks. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and be sure to turn on those alerts so you don't miss any of our future training episodes. Thanks and have a safe day.